Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have been wanting to try this for the longest time just because I'm really into resin and I really want to make my own moulds. <laughs> so basically I have bought this mould component. Um, I saw this on Resin Ace's channel. This is what he uses so I went into his description box and ordered the same one so that I kind of half know what I'm doing. <laughs> so you basically mix this with this and then you stir it and create your silicon mould and then you need something to mould. So I had a look around, um, I, I will eventually want to make my own things to mould but these I bought from Wilco's, they are just glass tea light holders. I thought they'd be perfect for moulding and then ink dropping into afterwards. So what I did was I took an old takeaway container and I cut the back off which allows me uh, an encasement for the mould and I'm just going to make sure that these are not touching the sides and then pour it in. Before I get to pouring I need to make sure that these are completely clean so that when the mould comes out and the release then the mould will be perfectly clean. There's no fingerprints or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a bit of a wipe with some alcohol rub and really polish them up before I mould them. Now on my desk I have got some um, oven proof paper, some grease proof paper and I'm going to hot glue around this container to keep it completely solid here so that the silicon mould liquid won't flow out underneath. being away from the edge I'm just gonna move this out of the way for a second and I'm gonna mix up my mixture so the mixture says for every 100 grams of the big box you want three grams of that small little liquid now I will get the technical terms for this <laughs> um, one is called silicon rubber the, yeah, so the big one is the rubber and the small one is the catalyst and they need to be mixed thoroughly in order for it to work. Now you can measure your vessel with rice to get the exact measurements. Of course I didn't do that. Um, so I'm just going to measure 200 grams of the silicon and then 6 grams of the catalyst. <laughs> another 150 grams to this and so <laughs> for 4.5 of the little one yeah that worked out okay so let's mix it up oh let's let's hope this goes well <laughs> should be able to see this all in action. The instructions say pour from a height, a good height, so that it basically kills the air bubbles as the silicon mould liquid hits. Um, it does 
get air bubbles as you mix it so to get rid of those you need to pour from a really good height so I will be pouring from a good feet away feet feet <laughs> foot one foot away I'm gonna come right up above the camera and pour from a really great height just to get rid of any potential bubbles and yeah let's do this used around 450 grams of the um, rubber silicon and then the equivalent in the um, activator so I can see a leak I don't know if you can see it it's just down here so I've got my heat gun heating up not quick enough for me um, to try and stop any more of that from getting out so I'm just gonna go in with some hot glue and try and seal that off and hope that no more drips away but so far pretty much um no leaks oh my goodness people moment of truth now <laughs> when i stopped the camera <laughs> when i stopped rolling the camera i had a massive eruption <laughs> like i moved it here and it just started flowing i was literally trying to hold it down i, I had my sticks over here i had a bowl i was like ah it's gonna roll anyway it was <laughs> crisis averted because i just plugged it up i literally hot glued the hell out of the edges anyway theoretically speaking this should be done um the instructions say around about three hours and it's been five so we shall see if it's worked i hope i i'm not going in too soon I'm not sure oh help i'm not sure now oh yeah no that's fine just gonna cut away the sides. Sorry, panicking a bit in case it's actually not set at all. That's not gonna do it. Little bit of ASMR for ya. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely harder than I was expecting. I'm just using my fingers, pulling, using my fingers, pulling. Um, just don't want to damage the silicon um, but it's coming away nicely it's just long so this has taken me around about two minutes so far to get this paper off I'm starting to think the um, brown one is better the brown um, oven proof paper the baker foil the branded one um, but um oh bit of a fiddle this one Take the glue away and then prise it away from the food container. Oh, that's satisfying. That is satisfying. Look at that. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so squishy. So I'm going to play around, try and get these out of here. Now, I had a panic moment after I made these because I didn't read the instructions. Um, I read the measurement instructions, but then at the right at the bottom it says, if you're moulding glass, <laughs> you will need mould release agent. And of course I didn't read that, right? So I had a complete like panic moment thinking, oh, what a waste, I've ruined it. I'm not going to be able to get them out. But from research and speaking to people and watching other people make molds they don't have a problem with molding glass so i just put it out of my mind and thought positive thoughts 
but it's the inside I'm worried about getting that inside out <gasps> oh M G oh is that still soft no no oh oh how funny I'm feeling this now and there's a dent in there that I didn't notice before which is fine that's that dent there you can see it's bulging out a bit <gasps> this is so cool guys I've made my first mold <gasps> Oh my god, I've made my first mould. Oh my god, oh my god, look at that. It's a proper mould. A proper mould. Oh, okay, okay, calm down, Claire. Get the other one out. And, uh, yeah, oh, I'm so excited. I am literally... Do you know what this reminds me of? Blamange. Anyone in the UK especially, I don't know if they have that in many other countries. Do you remember Blamange? <laughs> Pink blancmange. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> it is literally pink blancmange. Anyway, shut up, Claire. I'm gonna go get my scalpel and clean this up. Definitely easier to do it with scissors. I just tried to kind of hold the edge and cut it with my blade, and then took a chunk out of the edge. But the edge doesn't matter. So I'm going on the insides with my scissors because I want to be super careful that I do not take off more that is the whole thing neatened up with the flappy kind of wispy edges taken away they do look a bit dodgy around that edge but really that edge doesn't matter um, too much I think we shall find out if it makes it look terrible but that is technically going to be the bottom of the tea light holder anyway the bottom had a bit of a lip because it came from a food container so I just um, chopped away that corner I mean guys look at this does this not look like blancmange <laughs> everything comes back to food with me honestly right is it ready for resin I'm guessing it is so I'm going to go heat my resin up and uh Let's get to pouring! Mm -hmm. 